Okay, today we want to do uh, beef stew. Okay, these are the beef. Uh, it's the edges of the the rib eye. So we will use the edges of rib eye to stew. So what I did is that I soaked in red wine, marinate with a bit of salt and also uh, with uh, rosemary and uh, thyme. If if you have not uh, marinate, then you must uh, put a bit of flour to uh, fry uh, to do the browning part. But today I'm not doing the browning part because I have already marinated. But if you want to do the uh, browning part, you can do it. I'm not doing it because I don't want the oil to splash uh, everywhere oily. Yeah? So uh, this is the beef. Then the other thing, use shallots or use a lot of onions. This is also part of the spring onions, the, the top part. And this is garlic. And this is tomato puree. Yeah, one small bottle will do. And here are three tomatoes which are deseated. You want to remove the skin also will be good. And here are carrots. And this is uh, three slices of uh, ginger. And these are the red capsicum. All the seeds removed and wash and soak in salt water. So stir fry with olive oil, the garlic and shallots. If you have ginger, add lots of uh, add lots of uh, big onions. And these are red capsicum. Here is two large red red capsicum. Stir fry until you can smell the aroma or the fragrance. Then you add in the meat. Uh, because I don't have bay leaf at uh, my daughter-in-law's house, so I'm using ginger instead of bay leaf. If you have bay leaf, please use bay leaf. So we will bring to boil, cover it and let it, uh, after boiling then you simmer for about one and a half hours. Adding about half a tablespoon or one teaspoon of uh, dried thymes. I've added uh, dried rosemary. These are the tomato puree. This will help thicken the sauce and also elevate the flavor. So now the sauce. It's very beautiful. I have added more than half a bottle of the red wine which I used to soak the, the beef. So it's all inside. Okay, I'm adding about two, uh, one and a half tablespoon of the mirin sauce. 
and about one tablespoon of brown sugar. If you don't like brown sugar, you can add a uh, rock sugar. Okay, I've been cooking for about one hour. Uh, what you can do is that pierce through the beef and see whether it's softened. If it's not softened, cook another uh, one hour. Uh, simmer. Lower the heat to simmering for another one hour. Cover it and let it simmer for another hour. Yes, this has been cooking, simmering. So you can check whether the meat is softer. Still quite tough, you can still cook. If you have a big oven at home, then you can put into the oven uh, while you, uh, before you simmering, you can put the whole thing into the oven at 150 for about 3 hours. Then the, the beef will be softer. Taste as you go along, because I'm marinated with salt, so now I'm only adding half a teaspoon of salt. So you taste as you go along. Okay, now the color is, the oil is already out. You can see the color is very, very nice and it, it smells excellent.